Yo, what is up you guys? It is your boy YBC Wax, YBC Wax Gaming, and welcome to Dave the Diver. This game has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, and that is a wonderful thing to hear because there aren't many games on Steam that get that title of having overwhelmingly positive reviews. And for an indie game like this, that is beyond disbelief. I had this added in my uh, wish list before it even came out. Um, it just, it looked cute, it looked fun, and I was, I was kind of interested in it. And now it has overwhelmingly positive reviews. And now it's my time to uh, jump into Dave the Diver. Um, I'm excited to see what it entails. So let's figure it out together. I know it has something to do with running a sushi bar by night with your friend or something, and then deep diving and exploring and getting upgrades during the day. So let's find out together and let's get into a little bit of Dave the Diver. Very excited about this one. Oh, the little hermit crab. I love it already. Is this me? Is this Dave? Yeah. Oh, is my little hermit crab going to come hang out with me or is he going to pinch me? Oh, yep. Oh, he's so cute. Hermie the hermit crab. The graphics, this type of graphics, it's like 8-bit graphics are like super calming almost. Root, the finest of beer, Root. I don't know if I want to skip it. Is this all it is? Is me drinking a root beer for the rest of this? Fuck it. I'm going to sit here. And if that's all it is, we'll just, we'll just chop it out. The power of editing. It is the future. It is the future. I have a feeling this is all it is. Oh, I spoke too soon. What is going on here? What is going on? Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Cobra, who are you? Are you my friend? Are you the one I help make sushi with? Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter that giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Hmm, I don't have a good feeling about this. A sushi bar by the blue hole. The prologue. So is there like a whole story mode to this? I'm moving. Okay. Okay, I guess we're diving in. Now you want me to hold it? All right. Dave the Diver is jumping in. Sushi bar with blue. Clownfish. At about 15 centimeters long. Okay, I guess I don't get any cool facts. Oh, look at that. There's some dories. Some dories. Nice form. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh, all right how about trying to, whoa, whoa all right how about try stretching out uh, how about try Stre how about trying to stretch out a bit I don't, i'm no english major but that don't make no sense in the, the, the old steel trap here you know what i'm saying could be could be uh, whatever try moving to the marked area with Left shift, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. All right, I'll remember that. Oh, I see my oxygen. 
Good, it looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies. Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies. There we go. The dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use the button. All right, hello, fishies. I just would like to uh, stab you. Uh, let me, let me uh, just. Uh, st uh, I didn't get any of them, but okay. Was I supposed to get any of them? Did I fail? Sorry, Cobra. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? <laughs> the harpoon, that's my favorite thing. The harpoon, well, I haven't used it in a long time. Do you aim first and then, hmm. Hmm, looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with duh and fire with cluh. Now try it out yourself. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I didn't get him. Dang. What the? Got him. Reeling it in, buddy. By you, little buddy. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, you're looking like a prime specimen. I'll take you. What about you, you lucky fishy wishy? Boom! Oh, harpooner, baby! I think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. I'm on my way, boss, friend, pal, dad, amigo, brother. I don't know. Who are you? Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For, uh, gross. Uh, for sure, that soft fish meat with oily rice. Oh man, that's just the best. Aha, well listen up. I have a friend who was a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one of a kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. Dave is on board, bro. He's like, fuck yeah, dude, sushi. I'm in, dude. Ha, I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? What happened? Does, like, the game end if you decline? <laughs> well, you already know I want to freaking accept. I ain't even trying to find out, so let's do it. So I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I like it. All right, going to the front of the boat to the sushi. I like this, you guys, so far. This is cool. Digging it. Groovy tunes. You already know I'm a sucker for groovy tunes in a game. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Boncho. <laughs> yeah, Boncho. Are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You. Ah, you are the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right, anyway, it's, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature itself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to every what, every on, dot, dot, dot. 
Well, that's not freaking good. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, freaking no. Uh, an earthquake? Hmm, the interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? But <laughs> In the end of the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. I got it. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Hmm, won't that dec decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a wet stone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. All right. Damn. Such a beautiful restaurant. Fucked up by a god dang Mother Nature earthquake. It seems Boncho is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. But <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This guy laughs a lot. I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyways, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Appearance as dark gets older, more spots appear. Ah, I didn't see what that said about the harpoon. Now I get air. Oh no. Okay. All right. We need seven fish. Can we eat dories? We can eat dories. There's one. There's two. There's three. Four. Ooh. Let's get one of these bad boys. These look delicious. Bada bing. Five. Get one of these. Six. Ooh, almost. Just almost. All right. Seven fishies. How do I make a hundred gold? Back to the boat. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. Bah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it. Biggest fish was a blue tang at 30 centimeters. Nice. Can you actually eat blue tang? I want a blue tang for my fish tank over here. Might be a little too big, though. I didn't know you could eat those. Anyways, blue tang, cardinal fish, rainbow wrasses. Mmm, looks delicious. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. Alright, by the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. Got it. How are the preparations coming along? Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I, I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. 
All right, ingredients. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. Okay. Now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. All right. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Uh, add menu. Add. Uh, I don't have clownfish. I got blue tang for show. All right, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm, have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. I don't know what the fuck that sound's supposed to be. Tisk tisk tisk. There you go. I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. All right. What up, Cobra? Pour the right amount. Okay. Oh. Okay. Customers who drank green tea uh, of a good or higher grade will pay more. As expected, Bancho's green tea is quite something. That tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Come over to where I am and take this food. Okay, gosh, Bancho. Okay. You can dash when serving food. Use left shift to move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. I'm running, I'm running. Hello. You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. Seems like such a waste to just throw it away. Bancho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. Everything looks about ready. Hmm, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Okay, well... I got some rainbow wrasse, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Boncho is a ninja. What did I just do? Rainbow Rass Sushi has been whatevered. Hell yeah. Did I get all of this? Fuck, I don't know, I guess. Add one more. Okay, see the clothes. And I guess we're opening the sushi bar. I don't know, let's see how today goes. I'm a little nervous. Dang, a freaking perfect pour. Yeah, dang, perfect pour. It's kind of hard, kind of hard, kind of hard. Oh. your sushi this good there you go hell yeah we're serving everybody what does this person want you want some tea you want some tea 
Why well, I have to clean the spots? Oh, dang. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, we got this. We got this. We got this. Boom. Any more dirty spots? I only had to clean up two spots. Close for the day. Bancho Sushi closed. Oh, hell yeah. We brought in 60 coinage. Hell to the yeah. I, that was kind of a little bit, a little bit stressful, but uh, we got it. Phew! Work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. Hee <laughs> hee. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah. All right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bancho Sushi. And Boncho's a boss, bro. It kind of reminds me of Snoop Dogg. Oh, shit. What in tarnations, bro? What the? But was that our boat? There's a sea monster now. No, oh, that wasn't our boat. Our boat's blue. Ellie. Hmm. Are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. Tisk tisk tisk. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and a red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Hmm, I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. Oh, bruh. Reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. Oh, wow. I got a new smartphone. Cool. You can use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current missions and more. Game settings can be accessed from the phone. Cool. Uh, minus 40? Why? Why? Call? Oh, we're gonna need to call anybody. Mini games. Acquire two agar and a red starfish. Two red starfish he wishes. Okay. Uh, let's work and change. Oh, I can put fishies in there. Okay. So I just. I dive until my air runs out and then I dive one more time later in the evening, I guess. Fried egg jellyfish. <laughs> Interesting. So I forgot kind of what the what the things look like that I need to get. Purple sea urchin. Ah, it hurts. I don't think sea urchins can be picked up without these gloves. So I need some gloves. Okay, so what are the things I need to... I need a... Ooh, a treasure chest? Nice. Ooh, some oxygen? Nice. Okay. I gotta fight for it now? Oh, what? What? No way. What puffer fish? Oh, I can only pop it when it's not scared. Ah, uh, come on now. A 
long distance underwater scooter. Nice. Okay, so now I just need one more, one more starfish. Starfish. Okay, well that didn't go very well, did it? I can only retrieve one item. I guess my starfish, because that was the hardest fucking thing to fucking find and get. Okay, well, that went horribly. Oh. Always pay attention to your oxygen and use the escape pod when you're in danger to get out quickly. I can rescue if you run out of oxygen, but you'll only be able to bring back one of the items you collected. I knew that. Hmm, I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be going any deeper. Hmm, I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a gun in addition to your harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who is knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Ah, Cobra, it's been a while. Who is the goofy-looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. People who live in glass houses. So what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business. And now I'm in need of some weapons, Duff. I need your help. Hmm, season two of Straw Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. All right, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Hmm, so we'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Heh, <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to the Master Duff. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you, just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him right, Dave. Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, great. Where's my starfish? Oh, I still got it? Okay. Uh. Alright, hopefully this goes a little bit better. I need to, like, practice, like... More better, getting more better, and like paying more attention. Okay, so I need I don't even know what I need. I need the starfish, nice, we got that crossed off. I need a gar, isn't that a gar? Okay, I guess not. Um. Well, freaking starfish are easy to find this time. Got some rope. Ooh, ouch. Ooh, ouch. Do I gonna need a plank? I did not even hit you. Plank? That's all I needed, right? That was it, right? Ah, uh, oh, you bitch. Fucking. Ah! Oh my god, bro. Okay. I'm confused what I need now. Run out of air. This thing. 
No. Hey, got all my shit. Bring some fish in though. Okay. Oh shoot. Ooh, I got some lion fishes. Okay. I'm on my way up. I'm going. I'm going. Holy shit, I did it, you guys. That time I did it. Think it made it a little bit easier for me because I realized I was big dumb. Uh, but that was it, it helped. I did it. I did it. Number one. Well, to think you'd actually managed to bring it back. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. Dude, what a douche. Fuck out of here, duff. Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. It's well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. Open the Weapon Shop's app. Craft. Done. Done deal. This guy is a fucking god. <laughs> oh, that was great. Wow, he did it. A basic underwater rifle. Thank you so much, Duff. That was so nice. With a neat explanation like that, even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Wow, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. Oh, but I'll collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity. You can craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop. Acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint. Making the weapon craftable, go hunting with powerful weapons. Nice. Hmm, you actually brought them back. I guess I expected too little of you. Alright, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden, Ugh. the sudden ecological changes in the region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number. Olive oil and soy sauce and some gold. Nice. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, Dave, you collected 100 gold. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. Nice. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's do one more night at the sushi scushi, and uh, we'll end this video. I think this was a good first one, man. This game is cool. I like it a lot. It is definitely worth the fucking um, uh, blah, blah, overwhelmingly positive reviews that it has. All right, so tonight on the menu, we're going to have some circular bat batfish fry. Yummy. And then also, ooh, we can enhance this, Bajoy. Yeah, let's enhance this. Boncho, get him in his... You know, his fucking meditation state, enhancing this bad boy. What a freaking badass. <laughs> oh, the fish. Oh, that's thumbnail material right there. <laughs> okay. Damn, that truck is loud as hell. Okay, we're putting it on the menu. Um, then we're going to put some more clownfish sushimi. And we will also add some red lion... And actually, no. We'll do a pyramid butterfly fish sushi. 
Beautiful. All right, I think we're ready. You ready? Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, we're ready. We're ready. You ready, Boncho? Let's fucking get this shit, son. You and me, brother. All right. Who's coming in tonight, huh? What up, sir? You need food or some tea, bro? Because I got both. Oh, he's chopping it up. You want some tea. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I would want some of this tea, too. It's fucking delicious. All right. All right. Bada bing. And we got this. We're going to bring this over here. Okay. You want some tea? I got you. I'm actually getting really, really fucking good at that. Bring you your food. You're hungry. And you're wanting some deliciousness. Okay. This guy. You want some food? You want some food? Boom. And this guy wants some food. This gal. Nice. We're going to wash this. Keep it nice and clean here in Boncho Sushi. And he's going to order some food. You want, you want to clean this? I got it. Boom. Cleanest fucking sushi place in the world. Boom. Bada bing. Boncho is cooking yours up now, ma'am. I'm on my way. On my way. Here you go. Bam. Beautiful night at Boncho Sushi. Closed for the day. The rag wiping the sweat. Sunday. Monday. Alright. Who's this guy? Are you Dave by any chance? <laughs> Dr. Bacon? Yes, what is it, sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. The Sea People Civilization? Haha. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'll explain to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you about them? Um, maybe I shouldn't have asked. Okay, I guess we're watching this. A whore. They worshipped fish and had gills. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought a but. All right, I just didn't read it fast enough. That's about all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. The proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, one that could turn the whole... I clicked it too fast. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization. I've dated it to around 1,500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh, my assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. What? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Boncho Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Um, I suppose you have a point. All right, I'll help. Ah, isn't that lucky? Oh, of course. I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for exploration. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. My goodness. Alright. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. Okay. Alright, opening that bad boy up. We need a level two. 
select and upgrade. Bada bing. Good. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. Sick. Chapter 1, Traces of the Sea People. Well, this is fun, you guys. All right. That is enough Dave the Diver for the night. Thank you guys for joining me on this expedition of awesomeness and sushi deliciousness. If you like sushi, drop down in the comments what your favorite sushi is. I am not a fan of sushi, but I will read your favorite sushi just because I'm a goodly guy like that, and I love you guys to death. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like Dave the Diver Part 1, please give it a like, a comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for future notifications. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, that was a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see where what the sea people are doing and who the heck a doodle ding dong deepity doo da day. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video after I give you a little bit of kisses. Mm -hmm. Smash you guys with all the kisses in the whole entire world. You know what it be, and it be good. And we will see you in that next video. Bye.